He's a screenwriter, a film director, a voice actor, a producer, and more. And he also used to work at KTTC Television. Phil Johnston joins us now from Los Angeles. He's going to tell us a little bit more about where he's at right now in his career. But also, he's going to chat with us a little bit about the Screen Actors Guild strike, the writer's strike impacting many across the board in Los Angeles and beyond. Phil joins us now. Phil, thank you so much for being here. Why don't you first tell us a little bit more about some of the projects that you're working on? Well, my first job out of college was at KTTC, and uh, I was a morning anchor and weather person, uh, and that's where I started. And then after 10 or eight years or something in news all over the Midwest, um, I went to film school and have been working as a writer, director, producer, actor for 15 years, something, 20 years, 20, 15 what years time. were you at KTTC? Do you remember? 94 through 96, I was at KTTC. Okay. So time ago. what are some of the projects that you're working on right now? I actually can't. They haven't been announced. There are three projects, um, two live action, one animated that um, are in various stages of production. The animated one is pretty deep in production, but it hasn't been announced yet. So uh, I'm busy, but I can't say why. Sure. So what are some that you've done recently that you've worked on recently that have already been out and in theaters? Oh, um, I did the Wreck-It Ralph movies, the first Wreck-It Ralph and the second Wreck-It Ralph, um, Zootopia, um, a movie called Cedar Rapids was my first film. And then... um, real bad movie called Grimsby that no one saw. So when you're working on these films, you're a producer, executive producer. What is your role? Um, well, as a uh, as a producer, it's more organizing, um, uh, hiring people, uh, overseeing kind of the production element. I've more worked as a writer, screenwriter and director, which um, on the thing I'm doing now, I'm doing all wearing all of those hats, but uh, mostly on the, the animated films as a writer and or writer director. Fantastic. So how did you work your way? Do you live in L.A. right now? Yeah. Mm-hmm. How yeah, did you we, work your way to from news to L.A. to where you're at now? Um, starting, uh, boy, uh, I was working at care in Minneapolis as a reporter there and just sort of, it hit me that I didn't want to do that for a living anymore. And so I was 28 or so, I think, and just thought maybe it's now or never. And so I, I decided to apply to film schools and got into, uh, Columbia's program in New York, the master's program there and, and, went to film school there and then out of Columbia started, um, you know, writing and failing and selling things that never got made. And eventually the first movie got made and it's sort of been going ever since. Do you remember the Fountain City story with the bowling pins and Uh that you went with Chuck? (laughs) Because Chuck shows us that video all the time and you you were a really good reporter. But what a fun story. Do you remember it? I do. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. I think it was in the basement of the city hall or something in Fountain City. And like all good stories, it's all about the characters. And there was just this little kid who is probably 45 now or something. I remember at the time, a teenager and just this cocky, smart aleck kid that was resetting the bowling pins and yelling at the older ladies who were were bowling in their league and all chain smoking indoors at the time. Cause you know, that was, that was then. Um, but I, I remember, I remember that story very well, very well. <laughs> uh, fantastic. So what's next for you? You, you said you're moving, your family's just moving to a different house. We're moving to Vancouver. Actually, oh. we're, we're, we're leaving the U S Oh, okay. So maybe that's a teaser to something with your next project or something. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, is the writers' strike impacting you? How does it? Yeah. How does it impact you? Yeah, the writers' strike is impacting me on the two live action films. Um, animation is covered by the Animation Guild, 
But then the SAG strike, the Screen Actors Guild strike, I'm a member of the Screen Actors Guild for the voices I've done in in a bunch of movies. And so that has actually shut down my animated film. So yes, I am sidelined entirely by both of these strikes. Do you know what the future holds? Now the writer's strike is going on three months now and and um, the SAG strike just started last week. I don't know. I mean, they seem to be miles apart, um, both in terms of uh, the big issues are AI and not wanting the robots to take over our jobs and um, residuals, which with streaming used to get a lot of money coming in from DVD rentals and sales and things like that. The business model has changed completely since streaming and there hasn't really figured out a way that everyone gets paid. So it's a pretty deeply entrenched uh, situation right now. Yeah, that impacts you. All right. That's all I have, Phil. Thank you so much for joining us. I appreciate it. I know you're busy, but we appreciate you taking time out of your day. All right. So long. Bye. All right. A big thank you again to Phil Johnston, a former employee of KTGC Television. We have to take a quick break. You're watching Midwest Access. Keep it right here. We'll be right back.